All right guys, what's up? It's been a while and I just got back from out of state. I wanted to give you a quick update video in regards to the GTI. Everything is good, but uh, there's a couple of things that we need to kind of figure out and kind of work on. No issues with the car. The only thing is that I recently had a check engine light and it's gonna be for code P413. If you don't know what that code is, basically there's a sensor down here between under the intake uh, piping. And basically with that sensor, it is a known part that fails, I guess, on these cars. So I'm going to go ahead and take a further look at this and kind of diagnose it. You can't really see it, but it's down there. Um, there it is right there. You can see that gray latch that hooks up. Um, basically, that part is known for premature failure for whatever reason, not sure why. So I think that's what's causing the check engine light to kind of throw that code. Most people, they just go ahead and replace that part with a new revision and it should kind of clear up the code. Car still drives well, there's nothing really wrong with it. Basically just uh, suppose it affects that cold start or whatever. Still hits boost, still plenty of power. Doesn't affect drivability at all. It's nothing too serious. It's just, you know, a check engine light. Um, for that so despite that i'm also waiting for the new intake to come in yep i'm finally getting rid of the stock airbox and going with a quote-unquote full intake system can you guess what intake system we're gonna get <laughs> let me know in the comments below take a wild guess i'm not even gonna give you any hints or reveal anything but um yeah i'm pretty damn excited for it the reason why i am updating the intake is because since i got rid of the pops and bangs because pops and bangs is not really good for the car long-term overall for like really of the turbo since i got rid of that i kind of want a little bit more like sound from it the car still is pretty great but i want to take it a little more sound and i feel like getting that intake would kind of increase that and you know just make it a little bit more enjoyable to drive have a lot of fun in this thing but it'd be nice to kind of switch it up a little bit so yeah that's one of the main things it's probably not gonna look as sleeperish anymore once you pop the hood because I'm gonna get rid of that stock air box. I'm still gonna keep the stock air box just in case I wanna switch back. I'm also gonna do a video comparing the difference from the stock air box to the aftermarket intake and compare the intake temperatures. So excited for that, excited to showcase that for you guys. And we can finally see because, I mean, I've been looking around kind of researching and there's not too many videos kind of explaining like or going over like intake air temperatures once you swap intakes so i'm gonna try my best to showcase that for you guys we're gonna use the cob access port in the dash there to kind of um you know get a, a diagnosis or kind of like a cool comparison um, but i'm gonna go more in depth about that once the intake arrives it's gonna be a full-on video um, taking this soccer box out super easy to do nothing too crazy but Excited for some whoosh sounds. Gonna showcase the sounds of that. Difference in air temperatures. I'm also considering, highly considering, getting a turbo blanket for the IS-38. Nothing wrong with the turbo or anything, but I don't know. I'm just like, well, if I'm gonna go ahead and get an intake, maybe I should just also get a turbo blanket. I don't know, who knows, right? Keep the engine bay temps down a little bit. Turbo blankets, if you don't know, it also is supposed to help with like a little bit of like spooling. So, you know, that would kind of be like the benefit of why I would want to try one. Who knows, maybe I'll order it. I don't know yet. I'm still deciding on that, doing a little bit more research about it, see if it's worth it. I think I might do it though. Kind of just spice things up just a little bit. Why is there so many cars driving around over here? Look at this, what the fuck is going on? They're all like staring at me like, why is this guy looking at his car talking in front of the camera? But yeah. Um, security, she was like, oh, you need a jump start? I'm like, no, this is just some car guy stuff. <laughs> She's like, oh, sorry. But yeah, super stoked about that, guys. Yeah, maybe I'll get the turbo blanket, but the intake is on the way. And while I'm gonna replace the intake, it'll be easy access to get to that sensor down there and kind of replace that too. So it's kind of like a three for one, two for one deal, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, Jules NK 7.5 is doing well. And coming back from out of state, I'm excited to make more videos for you guys and upload more stuff. If there's anything you want to see on the channel, definitely let me know. A few moments later. Start, yeah, start it. You have to push the clutch pedal to start. You have all the way. There you go. So you kind of get an idea of what it sounds like. Don't really hit the turbo that all that well. A little bit more whoosh sounds would be kind of nice. So uh, yeah, there it is, guys. 
questions, drop in the comments down below. Hope to see you on the next one. Peace.